it's funny when there's a bear on the property but you don't know where it is things are a little bit Brookies out here. Also get some chubs though, feeding on it. It's always amazing when you you know, on a river, not so much a lake, I guess if you're near shore, but it's on a river or out in the woods, and you just stop, sit quiet, don't make a noise. Nature comes alive around you. Moving through is a disruption, but when you just sit there and stay quiet, they accept you very quickly. All the little creatures. I've had fish jumping now, Canadian goose flew overhead, Mallard, loads of birds, there's a couple painted turtles over there and they're not even moving, this is lovely. We had a, uh, a black bear on the property last night, and I had intended to go <coughs> solo camping this evening, but I need to see what this bear's intentions are, because it was pretty close to the lodge. And it wasn't even us that saw it, we, uh, we were out, and um, one of the neighbors was out for a hike, and I guess they'd passed our wood lot. They're like, what the hell's that in the laneway? And they took a small video, and they shot it over to us. Not a big black bear. No, and more than a cub, I don't know. I don't know a ton about black bears. Maybe a year old, I would assume, like a yearling or something. I'm not sure. But um, odd that it was there. 
because when I've seen them before, I've seen them way, you know, like out in the bush. But down a laneway, that's pretty heavily used. Right, and our dog's out all the time, so I'm no animal, but I would assume it has a pretty strong predator odor out there. Bears just hopping along like no big deal. Anyway, I went out to the woodlot this morning with a cup of coffee just to see if I could see any signs, you know. And, uh, and then I thought, oh, because it was a couple of wisps of clouds starting in the sky, and I thought this would be kind of neat, do like a daytime time lapse, and I got to go inside and do some work. And I could hear like a... Just in the bush a bit, and... Uh, couple of twigs snapping. Well shit, I'm out there in flip-flops and all I've got to arm myself is a cup of hot coffee. Let's face it, I'll spill it all over myself, so I uh, I chose a different spot for the uh, for the filling today. <laughs> yeah, we got a bear. I'm not f***ing around with Mr. Bear. When I first met my wife, and we met in Toronto, but um, she was from a town, like, you've never heard of it, but north of Sudbury, right? Look that up on a map if you don't know. Big Nickel. And uh, she was like, well, you know, if you're going to start coming to my house, you're going to have to get a little more used to nature. And I'm like, at the time I lived in a cottage. Um, God, I love blue jays. I lived in a cottage across from a lake in the woods. You know, I knew animals, but I'd never really encountered a bear. A few times camping I'd seen them, but like, I'm like, well, how serious is it? And I guess now, in hindsight, she was kind of yanking my chain a bit. But, uh, so I bought a book. And I had basically set myself to the notion that it's just a matter of time before I'm going to have to take out my pocket knife and protect myself from bears. And we've seen lots of bears up north. Uh, we saw a wolf trotting down the road, seen moose. I've never, thank God, knock on wood, I've never had to, uh, I've never had to defend myself against a bear. I still have that book, though. <laughs> this might be, like, the most perfect evening. Not a bug. I brought along bug spray, but I, I, nothing. The river is glass now. I was fighting into the wind the whole way up. So beautiful. If the family wasn't depending on me to barbecue since I made such a big fuss about it, I'd straight up paddle into the sun uh, rose tomorrow. I'm just 
out looking for signs. I postponed the solo camp out just because if this black bear was potentially a nuisance bear, I didn't want to have to deal with that. I've checked two of the trail cams. One's up near the campsite and one's down, uh, down by the river and there's no signs. I've checked a couple of the trails and I don't see any scat. And I was just looking through here where it's pretty boggy and muddy and I don't see any prints. Better safe than sorry, you know, like, hopefully just moving through, but, um, yeah, just want to check around, make sure everything's cool. And then, uh, if everything checks out, solo camp out this week, and, uh, that'll be fun. I'm not a big bear guy. Bosco, as I've named this fella, let's just hope Bosco has moved on. There's a deer trail through here in orange um, that I've marked to cut for myself, and it's a pretty it's a pretty well traveled animal trail. So I'm going to follow that back to the quad. If anything's on that, then maybe there'll be that. But as far as it stands, we'll see what we see if we see what we see when we see it when we see it. Blue jays are really judgy, eh? My singing's pretty good, guy. See, that's all just deer. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Just deer.